Let's have a look at question four now. If the two producers decided not to maximize their objecting function only, but decide to form a team and act as a single producer, how much are they gonna allocate the capital and labor? So let's go back here and remember what what, what did we do in the previous video? We had we had the trade-off between labor from Ben to Jerry, and we saw that we increased production to 14 units, but we still have two producers, Ben and Jerry. Let's suppose now that we have only one producer. If we have one producer, there's gonna be an allocation of resources only, either to the production function of Ben or the, to the production function of Jerry. And to see which one is gonna be better, let's just compare the results. What if we give all the nine units of capital, all the nine units of labor to Ben? So Ben's production function, Ben's production function will be the minimum between nine units of capital and eight units of labor in total. Well, the minimum between them is gonna be equal to eight. So the actual production will be eight units if Ben produces. Now let's see what would happen if Jerry would produce. So if Jerry would produce and he gets nine units of capital, the total units of capital, nine, plus, because that's his production function, capital plus labor. So plus the total units of labor, which is eight, nine plus eight, well, that's gonna be equal to 17, and that's that's a lot more. So it's wiser to give all the capital and labor to Jerry and produce 17 units. So at question four, at question four, we could say that Jerry uses all capital and labor and produces a quantity of 17 units and we are done.